You Jesus, my God, man, these testimonies. All right, this is the last one, the last testimony. A young brother, amen. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. Well, uh, I just wanted to come on here and say, oh, wait, could I flip this up? Can I do it? How do I do it? How do I? Well, I just wanted to say my testimony. Uh, well, like I was in high school or whatever a couple months ago, and then uh, what happened? You know, I was you know smoking, cussing, drinking, you know, doing the the uh, the sinful lifestyle, you know, living comfortably in my sin until quarantine hit, and then uh, I don't know. I just felt distant from God, and then I started seeing the post about God left and right this about God, that about God, and I didn't like it, so I got off of it. I was like, man, I can't, you know, it's just too much. Maybe the good side, but the bad side, like, you know, repent from your sins and all that. So I kept getting off of it. I kept getting on it. I kept getting off, kept getting on. And I kept that process up for like uh, a week or so until I thought and I stopped. And I was like, God, are you trying to, like, are you trying to talk to me? Are you trying to speak to me? Like, this isn't just a coincidence. Like, you know, this is, we are living in the end times, like, Am I, so then that's when I, you know, had an ultimatum to pick, you know, God or, or the world. So I was sitting there butthurt, and I heard him, like, speak to me. And he said, like, Julian, pick a side. And uh, the presence of him just had me just call out and just, just repent. I was crying. I was just uh, uh, repenting from all the things that I've done. And he changed, like, ever since then. I was born again on that floor in my room, and ever since then, I was never the same. Praise God, Never the man. same. Glory to God. Glory to God. And um, from that, I was going to get off social media. I was going to delete social media, all of that. But something was like, no, I have to uh, help the people of my, uh, my peers and stuff, because I know that there's a lot of them that was just like me that was stuck. So I, I started making videos, and I was like, maybe I should make videos. Maybe I should. Maybe I should just keep it to myself and delete social media and just have a one-on-one -on -one connection with God and a relationship with God, just me and him. Until uh, I was like, no, I can't be selfish like that. That's very selfish. You know, there's lost souls. I have to help. So I started making videos, and it started, uh, it started off one by one, you know, uh, 10 views, 100 views, 1,000 views. And now I'm, I have over 200,000 uh, followers, and I have Whoa. 7 million, yeah, 7 million likes. It's, it's amazing. And I get uh, DMs from people, and they're saying that, wow, if it wasn't for you saying this or speaking on that, that I wouldn't have changed my life around, and the Lord is really using you. God bless you, brother. And that's all I have to say. Uh, God praise bless all God. of y'all. Praise God. Let's praise God for that young man. My, my, my. That is phenomenal. Thank God for all of the wonderful testimonies uh, on this evening. It is good to hear what God is doing in the life of other people. Those of you at home, uh, we sure miss you. And uh, it's safe out here. We are six feet apart over here. And uh, the people out there are masked up. And uh, it's okay to come to church on Sunday night to hear the testimony of this young man. And uh, How did you find out about this church? Your grandpa. Thank you, grandpa. Amen. They're bringing him. Um, so you can come out. 